Hello, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 234 of our trek, and we are continuing our current trek of your life plan blueprint. Yesterday, we discussed how the Wisdom Trek plan is a powerful and unique concept and worthy of taking our trek slowly through the process. We looked at some of the examples how the blueprint is powerful, yet very easy to implement and to achieve results. During the past four days, we hiked the trail of the 10 key principles for setting goals. The goal setting principles are as follows. One, ensure congruency with your life purpose. Two, ensure your purpose represents your will of life. Three, understand your motivations. Four, identify your objective goals first, then your activities goals. Five, plan for your B3 goals. Six, be specific with your goals. Seven, make goals measurable. Eight, start with the long term, then break down into short term. Nine, set your objective goals as end outcome and not task. And 10, use positive framing. Today, we will explore the checkpoints on how to manage goals once you create them. These 10 principles and today's follow-up are part of the established phase of what we are referring to as our WESPER framework, which stands for Wisdom, Establish, Strategy, Planning, Execution, and Review. I am incorporating all of this information along with worksheets into an easy-to-use workbook, and I'll let you know once I have that completed. If you do have any questions or would like additional information as we go through our daily trek, leave a comment at wisdom-trek.com or email me at guthrie at venturecg.com. And if you do miss any of the days of our Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at The Big House in Marietta, Ohio. The single-digit temperatures continue in southern Ohio this week, and it is possible that we may receive some significant snowfall this coming weekend. It's still a bit early to tell, but we are certainly watching. Since we don't really have any place that we have to be, and since we do work from home, I'm inclined to say, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Now, I'm sure not everyone would agree with me, but for me, I think that would be just fine. Our workload is very brisk this week which requires putting in a lot of hours to make sure that we accomplish everything that is necessary, particularly to meet the quickly approaching tax deadlines. For some reason, the tax entities don't seem to understand that we are just too busy to work on them. And knowing that, I guess we need to head out on our trail for day 15 of our Wisdom Trek Life Plan process, which we do refer to as your Life Plan Blueprint. After you have set goals within the guidelines of the 10 principles, you are almost ready to move on to the third phase of our WESPER framework. However, before we can do that, there are four steps or checkpoints about the goals that we need to understand first. And the first of those checkpoints are, write them down. Write down your final objective and the activity goals in each of the seven areas of your life. Follow the example that we explored yesterday. Begin with the end in mind. What is your overall objective in each of the seven areas of your life? Then back into the activity goals for one year, one month, one week, and then each day. These goals should be placed prominently somewhere that you'll always be referring to them. I will be including some worksheets that you can use for this process in the course that I'm creating. The second checkpoint is to develop absolute mental clarity of your goals. As you pursue your goals, you need to develop such a clear mental impression of your goals that you are able to perceive them with all five of your senses, as if you had already achieved your goals. Visualize on how it will feel in seven years when your objective goals for each of the seven areas of your life are completed. In fact, make it a habit of visualizing your outcomes every day in the morning before you even start your day. The clearer the image is in your mind, the easier it is for you to manifest it in reality. You can also practice this habit for each of the four activity goals for each of your objective goals. This will allow you to ensure that you remain on track at all times. Every goal that you have is always created twice, first in the mind and then in reality. If you are unclear how your goal looks like in your mind, how can you ever expect the physical manifestation to be what you really want? Let's look at an example. If your goal was to run a marathon at the end of seven years, close your eyes now and visualize the picture of you crossing the finish line. How do you feel? Excited? Exuberant? Maybe even exhausted? Capture that moment in your head and never lose sight of it. As you are increasing your running distance slightly each day, especially on the difficult days, keep this picture in your mind. This level of mental clarity needs to be present and right in your mind throughout your goal achievement process. 
The third checkpoint is to be in constant reminder of your goals. Post your Wheel of Life diagram in a prominent place with your goals clearly written on them so that they are a constant reminder to you. We will also have a chart available for you to track and remind you of your yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily activities. Reminding yourself of your goal is extremely important to keep them in the top of mind awareness. It does create the drive and the energy to pursue it every day. Always make it a point to review your goal sheet every morning shortly after you wake up. It will move you toward the activities that you take on each day and keeps you conscious of what is important and not important in achieving your dreams that make up your life plan. And the fourth checkpoint is to review them periodically. Review your objective and activities goals on a regular basis. You should review your activities goals more often. My suggestion is that you review your daily goals daily. Your weekly goals at the end of each week, your monthly goals at the end of each month to make sure that you are remaining on track. Your objective one year and seven year goals can be reviewed at a long interval such as the end of each quarter since they are less subjective to changes. It is important to review your goals regularly since they can become irrelevant over time. Now none of us can predict the future with certainty and just like hiking on life's track, there are obstacle, detours and an any number of unforeseen circumstances that can change the very course of life. Our purpose and overall life plan may be fixed but there are many trails that can help us to reach our destination. Changing your trail is certainly not a sign of failure, that is unless you give up, but it is an opportunity to learn a different path to fulfill your God-given purpose for life. The key is to keep moving forward as related in the following two Bible verses. Luke chapter 9 verse 62, But Jesus told them, Anyone who puts their hand to the plow and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God and also Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. So let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we do not give up. On our trek today, we explored the four checkpoints that tie into our 10 key principles of the established phase of our WESPER framework. Tomorrow, we will venture into the third phase of WESPER, which is strategy. You are hiking this trail one step at a time as you lay the foundation to build your life plan blueprint. The WESPER framework assimilates into our concept of Wisdom Trek as we look at life as a trek, taking it one step at a time. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. As you enjoy your daily dose of wisdom, I do encourage you to help us promote Wisdom Trek in the following four ways. First, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com so that we can continually improve. Second, on your smartphone, subscribe to iTunes, Google Play, Spreaker, SoundCloud, or Stitcher so that the podcasts are downloaded to you automatically each day. Third, on your computer, or if you have an iPhone or iPad, leave us a rating and review at iTunes. This will help to promote Wisdom Trek and draw others on the trek with us. And fourth, most importantly, please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person as you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.